welcome to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man-on-the-street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko, or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with a smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is episode number 651. It's the 15th in a series of all pre-recorded shows due to the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. And again, there is no question of the day. However, like I mentioned last week, the station management is going to allow me to go back into the studio on July 12th. So July 12th should be a live show and it will be one that we can give away free flowers from DeSantis because we'll have that question of the day back. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to interview Samantha Midkiff. Now, she goes by Sam, and we already have a person on staff who goes by Sam. And so I've named her Sam also. Before we get to Sam, though, I want to remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter... It's at Dr. Kavitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Also, all past episodes, complete with video, are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Okay, so like I said, we have with us today Sam Midkiff, and so, or also known as Sam Also. Now, why do we call her Sam Also? Because we started out calling her Sam 2, thinking of the number 2. And we thought, well, that's like being second fiddle to Sam 1. Even if you planned on spelling it T-O-O, people wouldn't necessarily know that. Right, Sam? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way of getting to that, isn't it? Okay, so what happened when the COVID-19 hit is we lost a couple people. We actually lost three. We lost our hygienist, at least temporarily, Christine. She's contemplating coming back soon, at least part-time. We lost one of our expanded functions dental auxiliary employees, uh, Linda, who is, uh, what did she say? She said she's pr approaching retirement age. She has some underlying health conditions and she just decided to retire early. And then we lost our front desk person and that is what Sam has filled. Okay, so Sam, tell me about your background. So, like my personal background? <laughs> well, like any arrest warrants, things like that. Oh, have I been arrested? No. <laughs> Never <laughs> anything like that. Okay. So I guess what you were getting at is personal life, professional life. Yeah, tell me a little bit about, for example, you went to high school where? You went to college. If you did, where did you go? That sort of thing. Did you graduate from high school locally? So I graduated from Westland High School. Okay. In the Galloway area. Okay. And then did you do some uh, after high school training at all or just went right into the workforce? So I actually worked for a pet value pet store and they actually provided me with paid training to go into nutrition courses. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So you know my daughter's a veterinarian, right? Your daughter's a veterinarian. Yes. That I did not know. Oh. Well, see, we haven't had a chance to talk enough, have we? <laughs> we have not. Okay. So she is an internal medicine specialist. So you may know then that when a general vet maybe has a, a pet, that the cat or dog, that they just can't figure out what's wrong with, they will refer them to an internist, correct? Correct. So yeah, my daughter's a veterinarian. And so what got you interested in working at a dental office in the first place? So you were working at veterinary. Were you contemplating just a job change or did you specifically search out dentistry? I think what got me most interested in it is Adria was talking about it and she speaks so highly of the job and I always thought of doing a change of pace. I I was really into doing veterinary work in some way or another, but it was one of those things where I didn't feel like I was doing the right thing. I feel like I transitioned more into helping people and it has worked out greatly for me because I feel like I'm doing way more beneficial things. Okay. Now, did you know Adria before you took the job? 
Oh, yes. I didn't know that. And by the way, folks, Adria is our treatment coordinator. So, uh, and you actually heard her on this show maybe about eight weeks ago, actually show 643. Um, we, we knew each other for a couple months and she did highly recommend it. Oh, that's nice to hear. That's cool. So I have a really extensive background with animals, but I wanted a change of pace. So I thought that this would be something to look forward getting into because I have met a lot of really nice, great people. At the dental office? Yes. Oh, cool. I have met a lot of people that have told me that we treat them like family. Cool. In just a short amount of time. I've been there probably about a month and I've met several people who said that we do a really good job at treating them like their family. Well, that's good. That's good. That's what we want to do. I'm glad people notice. And I like to think that I, I not like to think, I hire nice people. And then if there's something about their job they can't do, I will teach them that or someone will. But I can't teach somebody to be nice. So that's probably right. how you got the job. And I like to think I'm a pretty nice person. <laughs> I haven't had any issues yet. That's good. That's good. No, I think you get along well with others and don't seem to take offense to being asked to do something, that sort of thing. So your background is in veterinary medicine as a what, a veterinary technician, receptionist, what? It would be like a pet specialist as far as nutrition, yeah. Okay. All right. And then was the only previous job you had then working as an animal nutritionist at a vet store? An animal nutritionist for a very long time. And then before that, it was I worked at Subway for a really long time. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were a sandwich artist before you became a veterinary nutritionist, <laughs> right? Not my most favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I like their subs, so. <laughs> all right. It is a really good place, but you do get tired of it after you come home smelling like it all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. All right. Now, do you have any brothers or sisters? I do have one sister, and I have a stepsister. Okay. And what do they do? No brother. Oh, okay. No brother, but you do have a sister and a stepsister. What does your sister and your stepsister do? My sister, Stephanie, she's my older sister. She is a receptionist for a stone and marble company okay. in Reynoldsburg. And basically what she does is people will order large amounts of rock to redo their counters and their bathrooms and their kitchens and stuff. And then my little sister, she is 18 and she works at Chick-fil-A. Okay. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to ask you, I want you to describe your duties at our dental office, at Dr. Kavico & Associates. What does Samantha Midkiff do? So my duties would include checking patients in and out, making sure uh, that the phones are answered in a timely manner, figuring out what people need before they come in so it's relayed to the doctor so there's a better understanding of what's going on when they come in so it can be done promptly. Pulling insurance and charts and just making sure that everything is the best that it can be so they can have the best experience when they come in as a patient. Okay, that's nice. And then what do you like most about your job? Definitely the people. I get a lot of friendly faces. I'm starting to get more familiar with everybody. Everyone speaks very highly of the office, as far as I know, and it's just really nice to work in an environment where people need you and you need them back. It's very nice to have that communication with people. Good. So you, you enjoy meeting people. I also very much enjoy my coworkers. Everyone is so friendly. All of them? Most of them, yeah. All of them. <laughs> I haven't just... met anyone meet yet. <laughs> I was just trying to catch you. No, I'm, I'm sure they're all nice, <laughs> right? Because we hire nice people. Okay, now, Correct. <laughs> tell me, what's been your biggest surprise about working at a dental office, about working in our dental office? The biggest surprise? The biggest surprise, it would probably have to be just the dramatic change that we see in people, them not feeling so confident about where they're at with their dental work versus how they are when they leave. It's a really nice experience watching other people be happy by the work that you help them with. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm glad that you've already noticed that because that is what makes me the happiest is we basically change people's lives, would you say? Yes. Okay. That's definitely the biggest thing. Okay. And sometimes you see them come in and they're in pain and they're a little bit grumpy, right? But then you see them when they're done and they're not grumpy, are they? They're happy. I do notice a lot of people, they'll come in and they'll have their mouth covered or they'll try to talk a lot less than when 
they leave the office, it's just a completely different change. They'll be smiling and it'll be just a completely different person by the time they leave. That's good to know. So what I want to do is we're going to go to a break and when we come back, I'm going to tell you a couple questions to be thinking the answers to, but we're not going to answer them yet because I'm going to, we're going to go to the break. Okay. But when we come back, we're going to ask you, well, I'm almost afraid to ask this one, but I'm going to ask you, what do you like least about your job? I'm going to ask you if you worry about catching the coronavirus while you're at work and a couple other questions. All right. So you can hang on, right? Okay. Okay. You're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko here with Sam Midkiff, and we'll be right back. You won't believe it though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said, People don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hey, what's going on? It's Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. You can look for my smile courtesy of Dr. Kavico on the CBS television network where I play Danny on the hit soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavico, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko. Guess what? We're open and here to take care of all of your dental needs. It's been a long time coming, but in the words of Governor DeWine, it's full steam ahead. During the time we were closed, we were acquiring PPE. We were developing a plan to keep you safe. We've had Zoom meetings, a very active text string, and in addition to going into the office to take care of emergencies, we've been in complete contact with each other, so we'd be ready. Are you ready? We bet your teeth and gums are. Don't forget, your teeth haven't been cleaning themselves. Your cavity haven't been getting any smaller and your gum disease hasn't been healing itself. And if you haven't had x-rays in a while or an exam, there could be a lot of things going on in there that you're not aware of because let's face it, cavities don't hurt. Even abscesses don't hurt until they get really bad. Call us at 614-262-9588. That's 614-262-9588 or go to drkvitko.com. That's D-R-K-V-I-T-K-O.com. Visit World's Most Interesting Dentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Dr. Kavitko, let's go! Yeah! Hi, I'm Johanna, and I've been a dental patient at Dr. Kavitko and Associates for over 10 years. I would really recommend Dr. Kavitko for your family's dental care. They're friendly, they're always there to help me. I feel like family when I walk in the door, it's clean, it's comfortable. Even if I have to bring my kids, they have a great playroom for them. I know when I'm with Dr. Kavitko, they are taking that extra time to make sure that I'm gonna be the healthiest I can be. They've been great, I love them. Call Dr. Kavitko and Associates today, 614-262-9588. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here and he's gonna help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 651. Thank you so much for listening, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. With me today is, well, she goes by Sam. Her name is Samantha Midkiff. She is our, would you call yourself the receptionist? What do you, what's your actual title, Sam? Um, I would say uh, receptionist. Okay, you receive people. So before the break, I said I wanted you to ponder, what do you like least about your job? Honestly, there's not really too many aspects that I don't enjoy. I haven't run into any problems yet that would be my least favorite thing. Okay, maybe being asked to do this interview? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was I, honestly, I, I was pretty excited about it. <laughs> okay, okay, well, that's good. The other question I asked you to ponder your answer before the break was, do you worry about catching the coronavirus while you are at work? Oh, no. We wear masks. The entire time we're in the building, we sanitize between each person. We frequently wash our hands. We ask multiple people to wait in their car. We never have more than one person in the lobby. Usually it's very, it's a very safe place. Good, 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 good. We take their temperature and that's actually partly your job, right? Yes. I take the temperatures in the morning when everyone comes in. I take every patient temperature and that will be right as they come in. So you always have to make sure that you're taking the temperatures and always asking the appropriate questions, cough, 
any type of fever? Have you been out of the country? All of those precautions that are absolutely necessary. Okay. Well, that's good. And so it makes me feel good. You're a new employee and you already feel comfortable and you see what we're doing. And so if there were things we weren't doing correctly, you wouldn't be so comfortable, right? Right. We do take a lot of precautions. Awesome. Okay, so now there was going to be a question about what do you think about the safety measures we have in place, but I think we've actually covered that because you feel like we have everything, uh, we're doing everything we need to do. So now I'm just curious, what's your mom and dad do for a living? Oh, my dad is actually retired, and my mom is also, she is a retired daycare teacher, and my dad is a retired truck driver. Oh, was it over the road, or like he was he gone a lot? Not too much. He would be gone it's usually like two or three days and then he would come home for like a day or two. So it wasn't one of those things where it was like all week long. Okay. So I'm curious because I've, I've had several truck drivers that were patients and your dad probably has told you at some point, how many miles did he log in his career? Do you know that number? Oh no. I know it's a lot though. <laughs> oh, one guy I knew said he'd logged over a million miles. Oh, wow. Honestly, that is a lot of traveling. I wouldn't doubt it if he pushed it pretty close to that. So. Okay. Okay. I think it's time for us to go to another break and uh, you're, you're fine with hanging on with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you're listening to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, episode number 651, and we'll be right back. You can take me as I am, and I just a little bit. I don't know who to be. I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea. I know you see it too, cause you're too much for me. This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? <laughs> Okay, we're back. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile. It's episode 651. We've been speaking with Sam Midkiff. She is our front desk person. She's the receptionist. She's the one that will be smiling at you when you walk in the front door. And we're trying to get to know her because she's uh, just joined us probably about, what would you say, Sam? Was it two months ago? I would say it's been about a month, a month and a couple weeks, maybe. Okay, okay. So tell me about your dental visits as a child. What was your child dental uh, history like? Actually, going to the dentist as a child was one of my absolute favorite things to do. <laughs> You're kidding. Really? Um, really? I always thought, you know, as of course, as a little kid, you think, oh, I get to miss school, but that wasn't a part of it for me. <laughs> I always hated the drive there because it was such a long drive. But when I got there, I was always excited to get that toothbrush and all the little like gifts and stuff because I always thought, okay, if they, you know, they're going to clean my teeth and I get stuff out of it. <laughs> I always loved going as a kid. Wow. That's really neat. I did not know that. So you were just meant to work in a dental office maybe. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll have to tell you that more often than not, when you ask people about their childhood dental experiences, they'll, they'll tell us it wasn't great because I think there are too many dentists out there that don't have the patience for the little bitties, you know, but that's really awesome to hear that you had a great experience and that you loved going. It really is. So I want to ask you this. What would you like people to know about us, about Dr. Kavitko and Associates? I want people to know that you should never have a fear of going to the dentist when coming to our office. Uh, we try to make it the most relaxed as possible, whether it's having TVs that distract you, 
some form of sedation because a lot of people do have a genuine fear of going to the dentist. And I, I've talked with plenty of people who have that fear that when they're done, they just don't have that fear anymore because we have a lot to offer that a lot of other offices don't. So I feel like that really helps a lot. And I would honestly recommend it to a lot of people. Awesome. So you've seen the people that come in as scaredy cats, right? And they leave going, that wasn't so bad. Oh, absolutely. And I feel like that's just because we have a little bit more to offer than other offices. We try to make people the most comfortable as possible because of dentists that they went to prior have uh, did something that wasn't exactly the best practice or they did something that just completely scarred that person. And I feel like when they leave our office, they have a way better peace of mind. Yeah, I'm really excited that you've picked up on that in just six weeks because that pretty much is the foundation that I've built the practice upon is taking great care of people, getting the people that have been mistreated or have been uh, somehow made to fear the dentist, getting them over that hump and getting them to realize that they can do this. And of course, it's very healthy for them to come and get their mouth healthy because if you don't, you wind up with abscesses and toothaches and swelling and pus and all that stuff, right? Yes, and I have noticed that a lot of people, from personal experience with talking to people, a lot of offices that they used to go to, they would treat everybody the same. And I feel like when they come to our office, it's a very unique experience and we treat everybody as their own person versus getting them in and just straight out. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's not just we have to do this fast and get you in and out. It's what's it going to take to make you comfortable, allow us to get you healthy, and it is individualized. And again, I'm, I'm actually impressed that you picked up on that as well. So that's really neat. It is, and it's very great to hear, to hear, especially coming from you. So it looks like we're pretty much out of time. I could probably squeeze in another question or two, but um, I don't know that uh, it would be worth trying to do. So Sam... And again, I call her Sam also. I think she'd prefer just to be Sam, but we have two of those. And so uh, Sam also, or Sam Midkiff, thank you so much for your time and for doing the wonderful job that you do at the office and for um, speaking with us today, okay? Thank you so much for having me. You are very welcome, and we will see you back at the office on Tuesday, right? I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, thank you. So that's Sam Midkiff, Samantha Midkiff. Uh, a nice young lady who is our uh, receptionist. Okay, well, I let her go a little early. We're not exactly out of time for the show because I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, yesterday was July 4th and uh, we're celebrating our nation. And I know we have a lot of problems. We have a lot of issues, things going on right now, anywhere from the COVID-19 coronavirus, which is obviously a major, major, major thing that we're all dealing with, to the protesting over not just the death of George Floyd, but essentially uh, police brutality in general as it relates to minorities, especially African Americans. So we have our problems. It does feel like we are working through them. We're seeing change. We're seeing uh, symbols that are considered offensive coming down. We're, uh, for example, the statue of Christopher Columbus at City Hall was taken down, it's going to be put in storage or in a museum or something. Mississippi is taking the uh, replica of the Confederate flag off of their state flag. You have some meaningful change, and it just feels like George Floyd's death, as terrible as that is, is turning into kind of a Rosa Parks moment, and it's probably long overdue. Not probably. It is long overdue, and it's funny because no matter who I speak with, no matter who I am um, with, whether it's being their dentist or just talking to somebody, it doesn't really matter who the, what color of their, their skin is. It doesn't really matter from where they came. It's a person, and I try to connect, and I don't know that I can become friends with everybody, but it certainly doesn't... Uh, change based on a person's the color of their skin or anything like that and so but you know we do have our problems but every time I talk about this country or the problems that we face I try to start the sentence not try I start the sentence off this way I'll say you know America the United States of America is the best country on the planet it is 
we have our problems, but we're still the best country on the planet, in my opinion, of course. And so we, uh, while we have these issues and um, we have our differences, it feels to me like we're, we're finally coming together. And uh, what better time to maybe do that than celebrating the birth of our nation? Because we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot to be proud of. We have a great history. We have a history of being philanthropic, of helping other nations, of helping people in need. Whenever there's a tornado or a tsunami or a volcano or something somewhere else in another country, we seem to be right there helping with aid and seeing what we can do to be a good friend to these people. And so I guess I just think that, uh, yeah, we're not able to celebrate with fireworks. We're not able to have parades. We're not able to do a lot of the things that we normally would do, cookouts, that sort of thing, swim parties. But at least we can take solace in the fact that this is a great nation made up of great people and that we are working out our differences and that uh, we should be able to celebrate many, many, many more 4th of July's to come. Don't you think? Especially if we can eliminate inequality and injustice and just have everyone have equal opportunity. So anyway, I think we'll do it. I really do. Because again, it is a great country. Now with my last little bit of time, I want to congratulate or wish happy birthday to my mother-in-law. Today is actually her birthday, Sunday, July 5th. She is 91 years old today. Isn't that awesome? And you know what? She's sharp as a tack. Uh, she takes great care of herself. Um, she still sews. She does a lot of things. Uh, she actually lives with us, like right next door in, a, in a, a house that is attached to ours. And so it's really neat to be able to still have her of my parents and my wife's parents. She's the only one still with us. And so we want to cherish those moments that we have with her. And, you know, these days you hear all the time about people that have are living until 105, 110. I think, you know, I even think I heard of somebody that lived to be almost 120. Isn't that awesome? So, well, I want to wish you, Mom, I want to wish you many, many, many more happy birthdays, okay? And I know we're going to have a cake, I think, today, and we're going to have burgers, right? She's going to, she's requested hamburgers for her birthday. <laughs> so join me in wishing Donna Janicek a happy 91st. And then one more family note. I want to wish my daughter Mindy all the best as she battles cancer. So it's unfortunate. She's a nice young lady. She's only 34, I think. And um, unfortunately having to deal with this and I hate every minute of it and I wish it weren't happening, but she is a fighter and she is um, just she just has a, a great attitude and actually I'm not even sure I could have the same attitude that she has during this but so she's an inspiration to me and I think she's becoming an inspiration to many of us in the family and I just really believe she's gonna beat this and I wish her well and you know what Mindy you can do this I think you can do it better than I can all right folks and again join me in, in wishing Mindy all the best as she fights this disease and overcomes it. And one last request from me to you guys, please wear your mask, please wear it all the time, and please cover your nose and your mouth when you're wearing it. All right? Wouldn't that be awesome if everybody did that? Because if they did, I think we could rid ourselves of this coronavirus, COVID-19. Well, looks like that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Before we go, let me remind you, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kvitko. And if you'd please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Remember that all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. This is Carly Red from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the hit show on VH1, urging you to tune in next week with my dentist, Dr. Kavitko. If you're interested in learning more about this and other dental health topics, go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com to access full episodes of Dr. Kavitko's show. If you'd like Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist, to speak at your next event, please call 614-262-9588. That's 614 614- 
262-9588 or send an email to speak.